Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm happy to have you. In today's video, we are going to be stuffing our Christmas binder with Christmas and faith-based savings challenges. So if you are interested, I hope you'll stay tuned. All right, you guys, so before we get started with our savings challenges, you guys, I completely forgot to do our encouraging thought last Friday. Um, so last Friday was November 1st, and that one was 2 Corinthians 9, verse 11. And it says, you will be made rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion and your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. And I just, um, I love that because, um, because when we are generous, whether it's with our finances, our time, um, anything that we can give of ourselves, right? When we are generous in that respect, it hopefully will plant a little seed in the recipient to thank God that we were there to bless them, right? So we are thankful that we are able to do that for those people, What again, whatever the form of that blessing may be. And then hopefully that in turn will have them thank God for the blessing that was bestowed upon them and help them draw closer to God as well, right? So we're doing our part and, you know, hopefully planting those little seeds. So um, I think that was a really good verse, especially going into November which is um, all about thanksgiving and gratitude and not just us showing gratitude for the ways that we've been blessed, but for um, for us to be a blessing to others so that they can also um, experience that gratitude and thankfulness, right? Um, okay, so then today, well, for you guys, it's today, November 8th, which is Friday, and Friday is... Just a short little prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of another day to love you, praise you, and serve you with all my heart. So again, such a, a good reminder that um, we don't uh, live for ourselves solely, right? We live to shine the light of Christ so other people can see through us and our behavior and our actions and our words um, that they can see Christ in us and then, you know, in that respect, we're serving God by shining his light and then drawing people to him as well, hopefully, right? All we can do is try. Um, hold, please. Okay, sorry about that. So um, just really quick, for those of you who are in the U.S., um, obviously, um, for me, it's Wednesday, so we're coming off the heels of our election. Um, for those of you who are... Um, in Canada or, you know, um, in Europe or Britain. I'm not really sure how you call that area over there, but for those of you who are watching our elections, um, I just want to say that regardless of who you voted for, if your person won, if your person did not, um, just to, to have a hope because we do the best we can with what we have here on earth, but you guys, God is on the throne. He is in control. Whatever happens is because he has deigned it to be that way. He, not deigned it, but he has, um, that's his plan for us, right? Whether you agree with it, whether you're comfortable with it or not, what is happening is God's plan because he is ultimately in control. And no matter what candidate you voted for, Christ is our King. He is our Lord and Savior, and there is nothing beyond Jesus that can save us, no matter. So, um, if you're feeling a certain way, um, I just want to encourage you to be, be gracious um, and be hopeful, right? We can always hold on to hope for a better country, for our our citizens for a better world um, and just trust that God God is in control that's that is like that is something that has brought me so much peace um, 
in trying times is just to know that and to truly believe that God is in control and whatever is happening is because he wants it that way. He planned it that way and um, he will see us through um, all the difficult times um, and the good times we can thank him for our blessings. You guys just, um, I just want to encourage you in that way as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I had an IOU. Did I? No, maybe not. Okay, so, no, I didn't. Okay, so we are going to, I did my two, look, I left myself a sticky note to do my two encouraging thoughts, you guys, so I wouldn't forget. Okay, so we are going to start with our Bible bundle, and I thought I would put my candle over here to give it a little bit more light, but I think I might run out of room. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay, so for those of you, oh, let me get my money first of all. And we play with $50 each week. And let's see, I have 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. Okay. And for those of you who are new here, I do this savings challenge over and over again. This is one that is in my shop, or not in my shop, it's in a in my Google Drive as a freebie. Um I have made each Bible $2. You can make them whatever amount you want. So for mine, my total will be $56 at the end of it. And what I do is, um, once I complete this challenge, I put the money to the bank, I buy a Bible, and we do a giveaway. So um, we are working towards Bible bundle number six. And um, I'm going to, we just, I did the drawing for the Bible bundle number five, so I'm going to insert the winner here. So congratulations, M Shepherd 81 um, Go ahead and email me, um, email me at thefaithfuldash at gmail.com. I'll put it up here for you. But go ahead and email me over there. Um, let me know that you won, claim your prize, and... Um, don't forget to give me your mailing address so that I can send it out to you. And let's see, in order to avoid my last, the delay that came last time, um, let's see, this is going up November 8th. So email me by November 15, so a week from today. Um, email me by November 15 at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And then if I don't hear from you by then, then I'll go ahead and do another drawing. So anyways, congratulations, M Shepherd 81. Yay. I'm so excited for you. Um, so yeah, don't forget to email me over there and I'll leave my, um, email address up here. And it's also in the description below this video as well. If, if you missed it. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and roll one dice. And we're going to do five little Bibles today. So $10 starting this one out. So one, two, three, four, and five. And since each one is $2, we'll just give it $10. So now all together it has $10, $15, and $16. Okay. Moving on to our collab. Let me get my planner. This is a collab that I'm doing with Fiona over at Frugality is Life. And this is Run the Race. This is um, in my Etsy shop if you're interested. It's a, it's a printable, so you just um, download it and print it. Um, she and I are racing, and this is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, and it says, Therefore, since we also have such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us rid ourselves of every obstacle and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. So, um, all of my rolls are green, and hers are underlined in orange. She does hers on Sundays. And so, um, last, this past Sunday, she rolled a five and a six. So now it looks like we're tied, um, because I'm here, um, on one and two, and then she's up here on five. So we have Matthew, Mark, and Peter all tied right now. So, um, 
Let me go ahead and roll. We have agreed to count the rolls of two dice, so let's see what I'm going to get. And, oh, let me get out my marker pens. I forgot my marker pens. Okay, so it looks like I have a two and a five. Okay, so I'm going to color in two and five. Okay, so I got, I'm, I only got my second five, but I got, look at, we're almost there. We only have four more twos, and then Mark will win. So, yay! Okay, so five and two is seven. So let's see what we have here so seven eight nine nope you guys <laughs> i am gonna go in search of some five or some ones and i'll be right back hold please okay i've made some change okay so we are saving seven dollars so five six and seven so now all together we have 20 40 50 55 6 7 8 and 9 $59 in Run the Race. And again, this is a printable in my shop if you're interested. Okay, um, let's put this to the side and we will go back here to the bow, which is where we left off last time. Okay, so this is my sister's challenge, candy over at Stuff and Budget. So let's just lay these out. Alrighty, so we have her little card challenge. Each one has a number down at the lower left corner. So we're just gonna roll and see which card we're playing. And it looks like we're almost done with, ooh, we're almost done, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna play card number five. Alrighty, and then let's get my scratcher tool and let's roll for which circle? Four, one, two, three, four. All right, $5, so let's grab a, oh look, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna grab a five, and then I'm gonna trade these two, I'm gonna trade these two fives and a 10 for a 20. Okay, and now I need to grab a five. Alrighty, so we have 50, 70, 75, six, and seven. $77 going into this one. I wonder if I should play again. Mm, let's see if, how, if we can get through the binder first. Okay, this next one is from Life with Bobby, our cute little snowy cat. And I forget where we were on this one. Five. Oh, let's just start here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, eight dollars. So eight, nine, and ten. Let me grab a ten. And then one, two, three, four, no, okay. So all together we have 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, $29 in our little snowy cat. Sorry if you guys heard me yawning right there because I am tired. Um, like I said, today for me is Wednesday and I did stay up late last night to watch the election results. So I am a tiny bit tired tiny bit lot a lot tired <laughs> um okay so this one is the joy of the lord is my strength and that's nehemiah 810 and this is available in my shop um there's uh, a green and a red and a pink ornament down here along the side and you just decide what amount you want per each ornament and then when you scratch it off that's the amount you save so let's roll one let's do this one down here Okay, so that's a pink ornament, so it's one, two, three dollars. Should we go again? Let's go again. Ooh. One. Let's do this one. Okay, it's another pink ornament, so one, two, and three dollars. So all together in this one, we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, and two. $22. So since this one you sign your amount per ornament, it's going to be a different savings total for everyone. Okay, we're on to our Romans Road. So let me get my planner back out and let's see what we have. All right. Um, we were here. Okay, look, I even marked my spot, you guys. All right. So let's roll. 
five. So we have one going back up here, two, three, four, and five. We have this little signpost and our verses are five dollars. And this is Romans 5, 8, and it says, But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You guys, aren't we so lucky? So lucky. Um, okay, so let me, let's see. Let's get like a little, a little light color here. I think this is purple. Yeah. All right. So we'll just mark our place there. Okay. And so far now all together in this one, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, and 6. 106 dollars, you guys. So exciting. Okay, going back, and I'm so sorry, you guys, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys had a good week. Um, it is so nice and cool. It was really windy for us over here today um, in Southern California. Like my eyes are all watery because like allergy stuff. I don't know. I think like I love the wind. I was talking to one of the ladies at my work today and I love the wind and I love the rain and I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to be in the wind, out in the wind and I don't like to be out in the rain, but if I'm inside, I just love the that weather. I don't know why you guys, it's so nice. And I think maybe because like when it's windy, it blows all the icky air away. And then when it's rainy, it just like washes everything clean. I don't know. I just love it. Love it. Love it. Alrighty. Moving on to our little cards by Ren over mischief managed budgets. It looks like we have Mary and Joseph here. Alrighty. Mm, I'm scared. All right, you guys, it's $10. Let's see what we have here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you know what I'm gonna do? Because I don't wanna have an IOU. I'm gonna get my little dollar jar. And I'm just gonna pull a dollar so that we don't have an IOU. We give one and we take one as needed, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Alrighty, that worked out. Okay, so let me put this one in the back. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right. Struggling. So now our Away in the Manger Challenge has 20, 40, 45, 46, 70, 80, 85, 90, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. $58, you guys. I don't know what the total on that one is either. So we'll just be surprised together. Okay, so let me put my bow clip here because this is where we will start next time. Um, and yeah, we only play with $50 each week, but um, it all goes to Christmas. So it's um, sometimes the money goes by fast and that's okay because it's all going to Christmas and I am fully funded for Christmas this year already. So any amount that I save is just extra. So anyways, that is going to do it for me today. You guys, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. Um, again, M Shepherd 81. Don't forget to reach out to me on, um, on, on by email and Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you. I hope you had a great week. I hope you have a great weekend coming up and I will see you guys all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.